you smell what the tremor is cooking. Good day everyone, we're doing the Tremor Guide. I'm here with Will Too Humble, a pretty good Tremor player. Give me some thoughts on Tremor on the whole as a character. What, what do you think about him? Tremor it is a character that I feel like is a hybrid. He is a hybrid between Rushdown and Keep Away. He can keep you away for as long as he can However, it's like his mobility. So say for instance, like if he's like dashing up or if he's trying to retreat, there are moments where he gets punished for it because of the recovery, you know, like how you supposed to play him. You supposed to play him just like rush down next to next to the person like crazy. Like you have to be up on him like these. You know, it's even sometimes you can shimmy people, you know, just doing that alone. Or you have a really good tool that can keep them back at bay because sometimes it's really, really hard for Tremor to be able to, like, get in at times because of his mediocre mobility. So anytime you have to be up close, you can't, you don't want to be far away as much, but you do want to be like around like this range right here just because like you know it's, it's really tough for him okay so if basically what you're saying is you want to be in your face most of the times all right well let's go into his uh pokes down one what do you think about down one <sighs> Down one has got to be his best poke. This is his best poke hands down. Like, so say if I was like right here. You saw you got hit right there? Like that, that this down poke is so stupid. And not only does down poke is so dumb, the down poke, if you hit them over and over, it pulls them. So say if I was like right here. Say if I was like right here. Like, it's going to pull you. You see that? You see how it's pulling you towards me? See, I was just right here. I was just right here. But since, since I did it so many times, now you're next to me. And on top of that, when you do this down one on hit, or one. Because it being plus, I think it's 15 or 16 on block. So when you got a move like that, that's plus on hit, you can automatically go into four one. And there are moments where that hit confirms. You see that? See? Like when like once see, see, I was blocking. You you even saw the button. You used to saw me block. And it although you still hit me anyway. So at random times, you can hit confirm into that because it's six frames. Six frames is like instant, basically. You know what I mean? So I absolutely prefer any trim player to make sure they do this even when you're like you know far away and you're trying to rush make sure you do down one down one is important because to compensate for the high which is this because this is a high so anybody if you're trying to rush they're going to down poke you because you're trying to do a high so if anything you really have to like you know rush it and down poke that's what you should do and then go into four one down two the down two uh i'll take it or leave it i feel like down two is only really good when you're converting off when you just convert off of it so if we were in the corner if we were in the corner for example right and okay so try to jump that's the only useful thing about the down two the down two it can absolutely convert 
it can convert like crazy. You can convert into really, really crazy optimal damage. But as an anti-air, you can use your forward one. Forward one is a better option to anti-air. Don't even think about doing down two. I feel like down two is only really good if the person is like at the like the peak of your head and they're trying to jump over you. That's when I feel like down two is like really, really good. But other than that, forward one is your best friend. There's no need to use down two at all. Down tree. Thoughts on down mm. tree? Down three. Obviously, down three is to. It's a, it's a it's a useful button because you do have certain characters that you go up against to have a parry. So, for example, like Liu Kang. Liu Kang has a, a parry in his flamefish variation, just like you know, Katana got that assassin variation that has the, you know, parry. You know, so anytime they try to do it in like in middle of their special cancels into it, you just down three them and to interrupt them. You don't even want to like, you know, use down one because it's a mid so they can parry that. But I'll take it or leave it with that one because not everybody's going to use down three. They're not going to use it because it's 11 frames. 11 frame startup. That is slow. You're better off doing this one or you're either better off doing back three because at least that's the low starter. You get what I'm saying? Like a low starter is better than just down three because I can do some with back three. I can do way more, but it is a good poking tool, but I wouldn't use it as much. Okay, so down tree is an okay poke, but down one is just so much better. Down four. Down four has probably got to be the craziest button. Although it is pretty on the slow side, it is 12 frames. So, for example, the only time you use down four is when you space it out, like something like this. So, pretty much like 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 around this range, that's the time you use your down four. So. I feel like your only best thing to do is just in a range like that. You don't want to do it like up close on certain people. It's a on hit, you can jail right after. On hit, you can absolutely jail. There's, they, they cannot escape from it. Once once this hits, you're going in with 401 completely. They cannot do anything. They cannot jump. They cannot armor. They can't do nothing because it's absolutely plus 20 on it. It. That lands. Game over. Okay, so use down one up close, and only use down four if you space it properly. Yes. Because it's unsafe. Jump one. This jump one is pretty good when you're converting off of uh, combos, when you actually convert. <clears throat> but it seems like at certain times you're in the corner. So if you come to the corner real quick, so say if you're in the corner, right? And I try to jump over you. Sometimes that whips, you know, so say for, say for instance, if I try to do this and I try to jump over you and try to hit you like that, sometimes it whips depending on the hitbox hurt box it, it depends especially when you're trying to go for like you know setups with the character people will also try to like delay wake up as well so it has like a it's a mediocre hitbox it's good but i wish it was better i wish it wasn't like like this little stubby hand because when it comes to air to airs Trimmer does lose to some of them. He loses to some of them because look, just look at the jump punch. Like it has no range. If I was trying to be in the air, just like Kotal Khan, Kotal is going to beat me every time because my arm is not going to reach like his. So it's a really good jump punch, but at the same time, it's mediocre. Down two. 
Uh, what do you think about jump two? Um, same thing, but it's shorter. Like it, it has, like it has no kind of like reach. It has no reach at all. But I would say that if you're trying to jump over somebody, it's going to hit completely. Just like you know, in the corner situation, you can absolutely hit them. You know, like it's just much shorter. Like it has no range. Just like jump one. However, it is plus as heck on hit. So if you do land this, you can absolutely convert into anything. Anything that you want. And I mean anything, I mean anything. It's plus 20 on it. So once that lands, you're good. Um, so which one are you rather use? Jump one or jump two? Absolutely jump two. Jump Guaranteed. two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jump three and jump four. They're basically the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, jump three has probably got to be his best button to stop you from trying to anti air. Like, because you do have players that will anti air you if you don't, you know, change your buttons. Like, if you're constantly just doing jump punches all day, you're gonna have to mix it up and do a jump kick at least. Because at least they can't they can't do anything about that. So it's a strong jump in like a uh, scorpion or is it better than average or is it? I wouldn't, I'll say it's, how can I say it? It's okay, but it does have like, like the scorpion jump, like, you know, jump kick. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have like that. Oh, you can't anti here. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't have that at all. Like, cause you can't anti here this. You can definitely anti-air this jump kick. You absolutely can. See? I'll do it again. See, I even jump again when you try to anti-air it. See? Okay. So, so it's good, but not the best. Exactly. Neutral jump punch. His NJP, it's, uh, it's, it's average. It's, it's an average NJP, but if anything, I would rather just do NJK because it gives me that hard knockdown. I, I'd rather just do NJK instead of NJP any day. What do you think okay, about so, your chill jump kick? It's very strong. It's very strong. When you do this as a hard knockdown, you can actually convert into the OTG completely. And to make it so good, about it it doesn't scale so you're definitely getting 12 percent each time you do the njk every time that's guaranteed they can't get out they cannot get out at all they have to eat that 12 percent even if they delay wake up so i'll can you do the njk for me i even delay wake up can't do anything if, a, in a, if an opponent delay wake ups after the NJK hits, they're going to eat 12%. This dude's doing straight! Wow. 114. One, mm hmm. 114. One, it's, a, it's a good string, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a string. Like, it's all right. It doesn't really give you anything, really, except for just a, just a knockdown. But even that, like, you're away from your, you know, opponent, you know? And you can't special cancel into it. Like, it's just the way it is. Like, you cannot special cancel into anything. At all. And I feel like the only viable thing that I could come up with after doing this string is this. That's like the only thing I can really come up with after this stream. One, two, three. And it, there's also one, two, down tree. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll def absolutely tell you this. It has a gap in it. It absolutely has a gap in it. So if you um 
block the whole string and then I try to special cancel you can armor or you can um you can backdash if you want it could it be anything just for some characters that have really good backdashes see so anything that you cancel into you got to be careful with your decision making see? okay because people can interrupt you or you know they could do their arm to armor so if anything if you do use that string just make sure like you try to do a cancel like this so you can you know bait them oh uh, okay so in this right here at this point in time for this game being out for so long people are going to know that's coming like it's it's like it's imprinted like each and every time you fight somebody people always block low they always block low when they see that every time they see that standing one two down three they're gonna block guarantee because they're not trying to get launched and not only that it's negative on block so certain people can punish him when he does that Yeah, the thing is, the thing is, is that uh, his his back one is 14 frames, so I'll have to time it perfectly to to get the punish. Could you just, could you use forward one? Oh, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't use forward one because of the spacing. So if you do it again, that's why I'm doing the wrong thing. You see? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So because of the pushback, it, it can be diffi uh, difficult to punish. Mm-hmm. It can be difficult to punish. However, you do have other characters that can punish that, though. There are, since it is minus 18 on block, they can absolutely punish it. Somebody with a much faster normal or special cancel, they can punish that. So those, the, this string, is it, is it particularly useful or is it something you won't really... That, that string right there, n never use. If anything, I would just go into this. i will do stand in one, two into the overhead because they expect this to come. They expect that to come. Uh, Although you can't fuzzy guard it. It's just See, like in the middle of a battle. Mm-hmm. Because okay. they least expect it. So you can definitely use that, but I will only use it for so long. Oh, so it's just more like a gimmick thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. One, two, one. <gasps> oh, I, 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 I do have to say this. Four, one, two, one, gang. Y'all already know. This string right here, 4121 has got to be the most abused string in the entire game. This is this is this is the string to go for for any situation. Any situation whether you are blocking, whether you are you know anything, anything blocking on hit like that this is the main string to go for if you want to be at block advantage. And it's plus two on block, so that means it is still technically it's still your turn. It's plus two, it's still your turn. However, his forward one being a high, you can absolutely down poke him. So if you was to do so if I was to do the string, right? If I was if you was to block, if you block and then I do the string, then I do it again, you can definitely down poke him. But you have to read it though. You see? See? So basically, it's a really good string at the same time. It's like you can down poke him if you think he's going to commit to that string again. So that's why, if you block for me real quick, that's why when we do that, we do down one to check. That's basically what that is. We, we, have, to, we have to check. 
Oh, go ahead. You see? You see? See that? that see, that's me mashing. That's me. That's me mashing. Right okay, there. I got you. I got you. And plus two, so it's supposed to be mm -hmm. your turn. Exactly. Okay, so one, two, one, the most abusable string. It's just so good, you'll always be using it. And it's important to be able to hit confirm into that. You Absolutely. have to be able to hit confirm. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to the next string back one two one and there's also back one down four up four thoughts my thoughts on this is this is probably like his only really good mid to to use because it continues with the string. And knowing that, you can special cancel like any of them. Like, like normal, you can special cancel into this one, like into this string. Like, you can do all of them. You can special cancel into any of them. And on top of that, it is minus five. This right here is definitely minus five. So it's safe. You are safe from anybody trying to punish you. They cannot punish you after that string. They cannot punish you at all. Hmm. And if you're doing back one, two, it has really good hit advantage and you can definitely do something, you know, like this and it'll still convert if you need to burn it. But the down, the back one, two, I, I wouldn't really use this much because it's a 50-50. You know, you're trying to do 50-50. So if you want to just do this string, it'll just be fine. You don't really need to do this one right here. I feel like this would be a perfect combo ender because it leads to a hard knockdown. But I wouldn't do it as like a, oh yeah, a, you know, my go-to string to go for it because it is minus 10. Minus 10, you got certain characters that can't punish minus 10 off rip. Uh, so your only thing, your only string to do is this. This is the only string, the back one string that you need to do. Okay. That's your best friend. So use the back one, down four string, not not one, yes. two, one. You could only use uh, back one, two, one to, as an ender. I wouldn't use it for anything else. Okay. Two one two, and there's also two one down four up four. That's two one two, and two one down four up four. This is Tremor's fifty fifty. This is his only true fifty fifty. Stanton two one two. This is his true fifty fifty. So if I were to do the four one like we just talked about, if I was to do this one right here try to 50 50 you you can fuzzy guard that overhead you can fuzzy guard it you see you can fuzzy guard it so that's really not a true 50 50 or you know you can try to like just constantly just block low and just bait that one out versus standing 212 it's a true 50 50 you really have to guess if you block so if you you really have to guess See, like you, you have to guess I'm gonna do this one or if I'm gonna do that one. But the thing is, it's better to take the stand in two one two instead of the stand in two one down four because you take the stand one, stand in two one down four, that is going to not only hit confirm, but you can launch with it and get more damage off of it. So that's why people and players always block low against. Because you can definitely react to that standard 212. You can definitely react. You don't even need to 
worry about getting hit by the low. As long as you're able to react to the overhead, they can't do anything else. It's not their turn anymore. Okay, so this is only 50-50, but you should always block low because it can lead into a combo. Absolutely. Yep. Back two four. It, ha it has a gap in it. So, if if I block, yeah, I think yeah, there, there's a gap in it. See. So, at any given time, if you see somebody try to do listen to that although you're like plus one on block but if you really you really don't fucking feel it really like you really don't feel it i wouldn't even think of using that at all like i would just use just back two and this special cancel although it still has a gap anyway so if you are going to use back two and then you try special cancel it's better to meter burn just to have that armor on your side. See? Okay. Just like that. So, would it be fair to say, like, as soon as you see someone do this, you can kind of take your turn and expose the gap because they don't, even if they special cancel, there's still a gap. Mm hmm. So, oh, yeah, absolutely. apart from in combos, this. This back two isn't really that useful. No, because it's very slow. Even oh. when you're trying to chase people, you by the by the time your hand is even going in the air, like they're gonna be far away from you. They're gonna jump out of that completely. Okay. It's really good for anti airs at times, but like I said, forward one is your best friend. You don't need back two. So it's just like, you know, you have so much other better strings, this is just, eh, whatever. Yeah, like, there's no use for that at all. Next string is... Tree Tree. Mm. I feel like this string is very... <laughs> It's, it's very un it's it's not even people don't even use this like that they like i'm trying to get into the habit of using this more and the reason why i'm saying that is because in the corner game it's going to be much scarier because if you decide just constantly block standing three three the overhead and everything it gives me the option to do the 50 50. much easier 50 50 you see so you would have to guess i'm going to go into that i'm going to go into the overhead it is not used at all like that at all and i don't know why it's a really really good string it's really really good and then not only is good you can hit people with that because look because look at the animation although i did 10 percent, it leads me to something else so like if i hit you with standard 3-3 it gives me that like it, it leads me into like options after like completely like you getting hit by the overhead it's over oh shoot you hit by the overhead i can do this so many options after that so you would say it's you think it's good but when you see other tremor players you think it's unexplored in a way unexplored yes so there's a potential here Oh, absolutely. Okay. This is the last string back tree two two. This is a really good hit confirming string because the thing is, since it's so negative on block. You can special cancel into it, but the thing is, a really good player would know that if you are trying to special cancel into it, they can jump 
out because of how negative it is. So you jump out, see? Because it's, it's that negative. So if anything, it's better to just do into that to keep them from like, oh yeah, I'm about to jump out, you know? Because if you just do that and try to be the burn that, or just even a regular one, they can jump out. So the only time you should use back three two two is if you are doing the cancel until you condition them enough to where they're gonna respect. That is when you start using the rolling stone. That's when you start using it. Yep, right there. So it's just it's a good string, but like most other things, it's it's you have and you have, so it's kind of it's good, but it's not the best for Tremor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Out of all the strings, he's just say like one, two, one, mm -hmm. and back one, two. Or is this his main stuff? Yeah, so, yep, mm -hmm, because since this is six frames and this is 14, but, you know, the, the thing is, you're always going to have to do projectiles and hard knockdowns to compensate for the highs and the mids because people will downpoke you like crazy. They will downpoke you. They will double downpoke you. They were not going to sit there and just poke you one time. They would double down poke because of this move being a high. And, 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 you know, it's so quick. Or sometimes, like, you know, if they're double down poking you so much, and that's when you have to, like, try to do flash parries to try to force your turn. Because they're forcing you to, like, commit to something that you don't want to do. So, yeah. So your main strengths to go for it is 4 one, two, one. Back one, down four, up four. Stand into one, two. Stand into one, up four, down four. And me personally, stand in three, three. And I will absolutely sometimes go for back three, two, two. All right, let's go into his uh, specials. These are his universal specials. Rock drop. Down back tree. And you can do it on them. If you hold back, it goes in front. If you hold forward, it goes behind them. Thoughts on rock drop? It is absolutely... It's not terrible, but it is because of the recovery. Because if you do it, guess what happens? That rock ain't touching me because of how bad the recovery is. If you're doing it in neutral, or if you're doing it up someone's face, you can completely punish them because the recovery is so bad. The only time that I will ever use the up rock is after a hard knockdown. See? Because when you do a hard knockdown, and then you do the up rock, they can't do anything. That's the only time that is useful. And if we're in the corner, and we're in the corner, and you're oh. trying to do like a combo or something, so something like this, when you meter burn it, it becomes a hard to blockable, but at the same time, and, and, and mind you, it's plus 20 on block as well. It's plus 20, and on hit, it's plus, it's crazy. So you can't convert off of it, but if you're just doing the regular one, you're going to get punished. The only time you should be doing the regular one is on a hard knockdown. No other, no other things besides that. And if you're trying to do the meter burn version, I would rather for you to do the meter burn because it keeps you safe because it's less, you know, it's, it's not bad on recovery every time. Like if I just do this and if I block, Obviously, I'm not going to do like a like a string if you're blocking. I'm not going to like do that special cancel. I'm not going to do that because you can still punish me. So, all right. So if I do a string, right, if you block. 
You see? You can still punish me even when I meter burn it. The only difference is that, like, I can still guide it, but at the same time, you can do that. See? So, it's kind of like... I will only use it for knockdowns, after after knockdowns. I, that's the only time I would use it. I wouldn't use it for anything else. Just hard, just hard knockdowns. Okay, so like in the corner you do your thing, whatever. Hard knockdown, you can set up a rock. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from that point, they have, you have a free mix-up. You have a free, you can do whatever string that's going to lead into a 50-50 because that's what you're supposed to be doing. So as long as they block the rock it's your turn your plus mm -hmm. absolutely whether it's amplified or regular your plus mm -hmm. okay. yep. it's just on amplify it comes out quicker mm -hmm. okay good to and know. you do get uh, a hard to blockable could you show an example of that okay sure so my this the perfect example is this one right here Okay, I see now. So you, you, you block the low or the overhead. Mm-hmm. Because what happens is... Okay, so if I was to just do this one right here... Okay, so if I just do this one right here and then do the up block, it wouldn't be as 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 bad to block. You know what I mean? The hard to block, well, that's hard to block. Because the gravity, like how high you are. See, look. You see how high you are? I can still try to get that back three out before the rock hits you I've, I've oh man there has to be honest with you when you do that you make crazy comebacks like no other like that is a come that is that that hard to blockable is a comeback factor okay like that completely works this works every time and then another thing too is that when you do do it you're going to force your opponent to delay wake up. You know what that leads to? It leads to either that option, which is the overhead. It leads to unblockable. You see that? Yep, I'm seeing. That's the thing. That's what Tremor does. That's why I say he's always up close to you because he puts the fear in you. He puts the fear in you as a character. So that's why when you see players fight Tremor, they always delay waking up because his strings alone are dangerous. So that's why if you are trying to do any kind of hard to blockables and they're delaying waking up, it's always good to OS. Always good to OS. And one thing with this setup, like, if you don't have a two-hitting armor, would it break the armor? Yes, it will. And if, and if, and I will say if, if you, um, if you read that they're gonna armor, I would just arm, I would just armor myself. Okay, so there are layers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't, I don't ever see anyone use that, but then again, everyone uses crystalline, so it's just, you know, knock down flex. Yeah, <laughs> so. right, because, see, that's the thing. When you, when people play crystalline, they don't have to really worry about doing, like, crazy setups, because it's a very defensive heavy variation. It's a very defensive variation. Okay. But I can't wait to get into that, because it's, I'm going to have a lot to talk about. the ground pulse down down four and they amplify <laughs> this will close out rounds like no other down down four ground pulse has really really good hit advantage is an unblockable you cannot block it obviously you cannot block it it leads to some crazy suicidal thoughts of people wanting to jump out of you know 
like even when, when people get hit by this when people get hit by this the first thing they think of okay i gotta jump because if you know if they jump they're not gonna get hit by it right either jump or armor you know and every time you see this move right here people do it after a string so something like that right there because that hard down, hard knockdown animation. You see that right there? Like how your legs were up high in the sky, like no other. That's when you do the unblockable to get that level percent. But here is the thing: they have nerfed Tremor so much during the the, the MKX Prime. He used to do 13% guaranteed every time after every stream that you do, any stream that you do. Down, down, four will come out. It will be thirteen percent guaranteed. So if I do it right now, I'm only getting seven percent. So that tells me that I can still do my down, down, four meter burn after any string, but it's going to scale off of my optimal damage. It's going to scale. So the only time you should even think about doing. That unblockable is if you have people conditioned enough to respect you. Like I said before, Truma is a character puts the fear in you for you not to press a button. So what happens? You can do it that way, or I prefer this way. So just I'ma catch you with something and I want you to block after. You see that? Because what's going to happen is, since you, I know I dropped the combo, but really what I'm trying to point out is that when you finish that combo or that ender, and you are, you know, crouch blocking, I can do this, and that will guarantee me 13%, guarantee every time. And then, if you even think about jumping out or trying to like armor, then I would use my move to you know to try to counter your armor or to try to bait you to do something that you don't want to do so what i'm seeing with tremor is everyone just plays crystal in a knockdown flex but he has so much different strange things you can look into oh yeah and, and you want to know something i would and I, I would say this too depending on how good your conditioning is you can do that and then you can go straight into that. that that's plus two right that's plus two doing that alone you're going to condition it because they're not going to armor it's, it's plus two and block so basically if i jump over you and you block it i can just go into that because you're not expecting it mm -hmm. and that's the thing when i say like if you are using this character you have to utilize everything and then we utilize everything you start to develop these crazy scenarios like i can get free damage and not really do that much you know do that much work you know so so something like this right obviously this is obviously it changes with the other variations right it definitely changes but this move right here into that bam 12 percent you anything anything over 10 percent is dangerous doing this into this and shoot if we're in a corner mind you if we're in a corner right from like this this is right here i can constantly keep doing this you're gonna have to guess you're gonna have to guess you got to guess if i'm gonna do it again if you're trying to jump out see look I can constantly just and then mind you the spacing right so if you were to block it guess what happens i can go into a flash parry after i can go into flash parry i can actually go into that because look at the spacing the spacing is like right here so if i hit you with this on block if i touch you with this on block that means i can do this or I can, I don't know, cancel, do this, because you're going to be worried about that, and you're not reacting, 
to the unblockable, I get that for free. <laughs> okay, okay. A lot of dirt this character has. Alright, well that's uh, for base tremor, so we'll want to go into the variations, but before we do that, mm -hmm. in your opinion, could you rank the variations of tremor? Okay, that's very simple. The best one being crystalline, the second one is aftershock, and the last one is metallic. Okay, so those are best to worst. Now, in your opinion, which ones are the easiest, the hardest to use? The easiest to use is Crystalline, because Crystalline, all you really need is Flex. That's all you really need. There's nothing else to really do with that variation, because it's a very defensive variation. It's very defensive. It, like, it protects you from projectiles, it protects you from them trying to get the turn back there's nothing else to it it's a very heavy defensive variation the crystalline okay. is the easiest to use aftershock so therefore aftershock. metallic would be the hardest yes okay good